So now we're moving on to hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Hyperbaric oxygen combines pressure and oxygen. So the air that we're breathing right now is about 21% oxygen. This combines pure oxygen at about 70 to 80% with a lot of pressure. So it's almost like being under seawater. To be clear, there is no water involved. It's only pure oxygen and pressure, but this is a medical grade chamber. This is not every day that you find one of these in a home. We actually have one at my clinic. And since I'm no longer at the clinic in Ohio, I had to get one for my home. So this is a one base. 2.0 medical grade oxygen chamber and let's talk about my protocol so hyperbaric is incredibly healing so it essentially heals the body from the inside out it's great for reducing inflammation and people use it for a variety of different conditions I originally learned about hyperbaric in my training with dr. Daniel Amen for the brain and just restoring blood flow and improving blood flow to the brain and essentially healing the brain after TBIs concussions things of that nature but it's also being used for things like fertility and autoimmune conditions and uh, post-surgery and even for, you know, just improving cognitive function. So I'm gonna have a really extensive protocol for this. Um, I'm gonna call it the longevity brain and body protocol. So currently I'm in a stint of 40 sessions. I'm doing those one hour each, five times per week. You don't wanna do it seven times per week because it does produce a little bit of oxidative stress. And so you wanna let your body have a break. So five times per week until I hit 40 sessions, that's gonna be at the 2.0 ATA. Then we're gonna take six months off of a strict protocol and we're gonna do maintenance. So that's gonna be two to three sessions per week at that 2.0 ATA. And then after six months of a break, I'm going to begin my brain protocol, which is going to be 40 sessions at 1.5 ATA, so slightly lower pressure than the 2.0. And I'm gonna do those 40 sessions at the intervals of one hour, five times per week. And to be honest, I'm probably going to just repeat that yearly. As I often say, I don't want longevity to feel um, unattainable. So hyperbaric is not something that you have to do. This is really, I call this like a nominal mover for me in my current state of health. So I have great health and I'm really trying to push the boundaries of what's possible with human health span and longevity. But you can also look for a clinic near you to find a more affordable option if you are interested in using hyperbaric. If you've had something like a concussion, I definitely recommend looking in to this because it can be a game changer for people. But if you're just looking um, to do longevity treatments, I would recommend looking for a clinic near you. I hope this helps.